क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम इकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द फेराडेज लॉ ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक इंडक्शन इन एटीन थर्टी वन माइकल फेराडे डिस्कवर टू लॉज रिलेटेड टू द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड एंड इट्स इंडक्शन एंड दिस लॉज आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वाइल स्टडिंग द इलेक्ट्रिकल मशीन सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी वॉट आर द फेराडेज लॉज As you can see in the figure, there is one coil which is connected to a galvanometer, and there is one magnet which is near to the coil. Michael Faraday conducted one experiment related to the coil and the magnet. If you see in figure B, the magnet is placed inside the coil, but in this condition there is no deflection of the galvanometer. Now, if you see figure A. when the north pole of the magnet is placed inside the coil there is a deflection in the galvanometer similarly when the magnet is moved away from the coil again we can see that there is a deflection in the galvanometer now in figure d if the magnet is kept constant and the coil is moved towards the magnet then to galvanometer shows some amount of deflection if we see all these figures we can see that in figure a both the magnet and the coil were in the constant position neither of them was moving but in rest of the figures that is figure b c and d either coil or magnet is moving and one of them is stationary so here there are two requirements first is either stationary magnet and moving coil or a moving coil and the stationary magnet by conducting this experiment faraday has introduced two laws of electromagnetic induction the first law of faraday states that whenever there is change in the flux linking with the coil or the conductor which cuts the magnetic field emf is induced in the conductor because of this induced emf the current will start to flow in the coil this current flows unless and until there is the change in magnetic flux this is the faraday's first law faraday's second law states that emf induced in the conductor is directly proportional to rate of change of flux now in order to determine the truthfulness of this law the most important thing required is a conductor and the magnetic field either the conductor should be stationary and magnetic field must be moving or the magnetic field must be stationary and conductor must be moving then and only then the emf will be induced in the conductor when the conductor is stationary and coil is moving then whatever emf is induced in the conductor that emf is called as statically induced emf but when the conductor is moving and the coil is stationary at that time whatever emf is induced in the conductor that is called as dynamically induced emf thank you friends for watching this video stay tuned with ikida and subscribe our channel ikida thank you